Good morning, everyone. It's been a week or so. Well, hello, Spotty. Um, I'm just going to go through quickly today and show you the new rabbits. Um, these have been kindled anywhere from the 2nd and to the 6th. So some of these are a week old already, uh, four litters. And then some of them were only three days old. Uh, but I'm going to show you the new babies. And we also have two new additions that I'm very excited about. Here we have Hoxie. And Hoxie's been a good mom. Um, she had a very small litter this time. She's hiding. Um, she only has two kits. And these guys are four days old, I think. I think they were kindled on the 5th. Uh, being only two, they are very, very big babies. And uh, they appear to have excellent color. Be glad to, I'll be anxious to see them grow up. Cute right, little babies. And then we have Ozark, and these girls like to hide behind the nest boxes. Ozark was the last Kindle. She had hers on the 6th, though hers are only three days old. And they're nowhere near as big as Hoxie's because they're such a bigger litter. But she has six, and they all look just as healthy as can be. And uh, she was bred to. I believe she was bred to Sorrel. She's doing an excellent litter with, doing an excellent job with her first litter with me. And here we have Mustang Sally. And she has four. She's got three, which I presume will be stills. Uh, these guys are so fat. Um, actually, they're a week old, so their nest box gets turned today. And then she's got this one, which I thought was a white, but it has chestnut markings on the head, which has recently developed. So I guess this one, I'm not real sure if it's a dirty spot, but it definitely looks like um, spots. So this one may end up being a Charlie. All right, and over here we have Al Allie, and Allie tends to be very protective. Um, she's a little angry if you mess with her litter, uh, but she only has two, so we're going to try to get in here and do this very quickly. Uh, she has two, and they are both blue. She's got this little guy, and I say little, they're not little at all. And then this one. So these are the first two blues bred and raised here at Grace Hollow. Now Nellie has a blue, uh, but Nellie was bred before um, Speaking of Nellie, her. she's right next to us, so we'll give you a real quick look. Uh, there's her black, there's her blue, and then there's a black Charlie. There's a black Charlie. There's a blue Charlie. And right in there is the other blue color. All right, and here is Noble's litter. You all know Noble. She was out of Halley and St. Charles. She was the only surviving uh, kit out of that litter. Uh, Mom had passed away, and I had fostered her over to um, Bloomer, I believe. I think Bloomer is the one that raised Noble with her litter. Um, yes, she grew up with Biggers and Bigelow. So, she's got her first litter. And we have, they're all brokens. And some are blue and some are black. Um, here's a broken blue. Here is a Charlie, which appears to be black. Here is a broken... I think that one's a broken black. This one's a broken black. She's got some beautifully marked babies. Here is a broken blue. Here is a Charlie blue. There's another Charlie black. And another broken blue. So that is Noble's. 
and Noble is one of my more friendly moms. Um, she doesn't get angry. She lets me pet her. She lets me pet the babies. Um, she kindled eight, and she's still raising eight. She's done a very wonderful job for a first-time mama. Okay, and here's Daisy and her litter. Now, Daisy has ten kids. Um, now, she only has four with her. I put four of them. She has six with her, and I put four in a different nest box with a different mama. And although she's not aggressive or mean, she is a little cautious with me with her babies. She's got two black in here, and the other eight were all broken. Beautiful fat kits for first time mom. Or no, Daisy, this is Daisy's second litter. She's doing an excellent job, and look how fat every one of these guys are. Just fat, fat, fat. <laughs> She's nuzzling me, wanting to know what I'm doing with her babies. But there's her six that she's raising. Hello, Mama. And then here is Mina, and this is Mina's first litter. She has, I believe, six. And they are all hiding right now. There's this one, I love the pattern on that one. And two. Hello, Mina. Mina's watching. Yeah. yeah Mina's watching me. Oh, <laughs> I knocked her off. I didn't mean to do that. There's three. Hello, Mina. Oh, there they are. They're hiding. Oh, that one's a little bitty one. Yeah, it keeps living. There's that one. There. Boy, these guys like to hide. Anyway, she's got six beautifully marked babies. Here is Helena, and Helena is one of the more protective moms. So she will have to make this quick. She has one of her kits. Uh, she only had one. She has one broken in here. And then the other four are daisies. And I may have to take the nest box out to show you. Uh, she's going to get her box turned pretty soon, and it's a good thing because she's a dirty mom, so her nest box is dirty, and I've got to clean it again, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn it today. All right, let me see if I can show you without making her too angry. There's this one. And this one. There's three. There's four, and this one is hers. And then here's the fifth here's one. Madison. And Madison just turned six months, and she's already nine and a half pounds. And she is a borderline Charlie. She has some markings. Um, I would consider her a Charlie, but I know some judges would uh, say that that's 10%. So some would let her show and some would not. Uh, but the exciting thing about Madison, she came out of uh, RP's Rabbitry in Central Missouri. Um, she is actually the great-granddaughter to Caraway, my original red doe uh, out of the trio that I purchased. Uh, she's the great-granddaughter to Caraway. So we are very pleased to have Madison with us. We are going to uh, let her sit for 30 days and then we're going to go ahead and breed her when she's seven months old because she's already reached weight. I mean she's six just turned six months and she's nine and a half pounds so Give her another 30 days, she'll be 10, 10 and a half pounds. Our other new doe, this is Adana. Uh, she's a red doe, and she too came from um, the RP Rabbitry. Um, she is also 
a great granddaughter to Carowa. All right, guys, now. there you have it. That is our uh, June kits. We'll watch these guys grow up in the next few weeks. Here in six, seven weeks, uh, we'll start weaning them, and hopefully, we'll have some of them up for sale in like 12 weeks. Oh, anyway, thanks for watching, and until we speak again, God bless.